Oof! <laughs> of course it's in the last possible place I look. Let's go to the basement, ladies and gents. I'm going to pop another save. Because I'm starting to think we're in the end game here. These kinds of games are never very long. Here we go. Time to tackle the basement. Brown stuffed dog. Lots of dolls and dog parts. Sewing implements. That's got to be something. That is a creepy bunny. Thank you, honey. At least you recognize it's weird. Partly sewn stuffed bear. There's writing on the wall. It's hard to see in the dark. Two, four, three, six. Probably for the computer. Let's go. Two, four, three, six, two, four, three, six, two, 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 four, three, 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 six. Popping another save. Saving like a maniac now. <laughs> two, four, a three, a six. It is not indeed fuck. There's only one file. Diary? I have one of those! Uh oh. This must be from the ant. I visited the gynecologist today. The doctor smiled wide and said the infertility treatment must have worked. Apparently, I'm two months pregnant. It's also a notepad file. I was so happy I absentmindedly called him during work. Thankfully, he was just as glad. I should contact my sister soon, too. I went to my sister's and told her the news. As expected, she looked displeased. She accused me of having kids just so my rich husband wouldn't run away. I'm not sure what, when my sister came to despise me. It must have been mom and dad's death, and to think I'm more grateful to her for raising me than anyone. I left my sister's house being effectively driven out, but little Miki came up to me and whispered, Congrats! Aww. I've been making lots of stuffed animals lately. I'm making some clothes for the baby. I want to, I want to meet them soon. If the baby's a boy, he might not like stuffed animals. I could give them to kids in the neighborhood instead. I haven't felt anything for a while. The baby wasn't moving anymore. I never heard its first cry. He was a boy that looked just like his father. There was a funeral and a cremation. I can't even imagine what it'd be like to lose your child. I'm terrified to talk to him. Terrified of being abused as a killer. My sister laughed at me over the phone. Well, good. A shamelessly optimistic girl like you couldn't be a mother anyhow. Fuck you! You do not do that to someone, especially your own sister! He left. He couldn't move on with me, he said. He wanted to raise a happy family, so he left. All I have left is this house. The neighbors are spreading rumors that I'm a killer. Even on, even the news people say I am. So, the stuffed anim so do the stuffed animals I'm selling. Everyone hates me. I'm scared. Everyone around me hates me. Everyone's out to kill me. I've locked everything and hid the keys or I can't feel safe. I talked to my sister and she called me crazy. A crazy who should die. Even Miki told me to die. What? I think I should die, too. I jumped off the second floor and broke my leg. I was taken by the people in blue and confined by the people in white. Today I'm finally free from the white building. Now's my only chance. If I'm too slow, I'll be caught again. I just need to find the rope in the storehouse. Jesus. <laughs> There's no funny remarks I can make about that. There's just not. I never wanted you to die. No one ever said that. Auntie. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just getting a little save paranoid. Is it Mr. Is it Mr. Love Interest? No, seriously, open, open the fucking door. There we go. It is! He did bring me back! What? Okay. Hello, Miss Takamura. So, how goes it? Nothing happened, I presume. You don't... You don't believe me, huh? Huh? 
I'm not really surprised that you don't believe me. But... But still, why would you be so awful as to take me back here in my sleep? And now she's crying again. Good job breaking it, dude. M Miss Takamura? Tell me if I'm a bother. You could just tell me. But this is just too cruel. Inside, you're laughing at me for saying weird things because I'm depressed. And you pretend to be helpful. M Miss Takamura, calm down. I have no idea what... Him taking us to his house was just a dream? Calm down, please! Didn't you tell me you were going home yourself last night? Ah, she doesn't remember. Okay. She's going crazy. You don't remember. You woke me up in the night and you said you'd be fine. Sleepwalking Miki. Huh? Miss Takamura? What's the matter? Oh, do you need to use the toilet? I'll be fine now. I'll go back home. <laughs> that was out of the sudden. It's late at night. You should stay. Even if it is just across the street. It's fine. After all, it is my home. I'm trying to be as creeper as possible. Here we go. And she just fucks off. And disappears because she doesn't appear on the other side. Are you sure? Well, if you say so yourself. Do 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 That can't be. I, I didn't do that. I was sleeping all last night. Miss Takamura. There's something I wish to say. About this monster and these events. What is it? I don't think that you're lying, Miss Takamura. However... If you were being chased by a monster, there would be traces of it. As well as the hair. I found nothing of the sort when I looked around. I also checked the well. And there was no hole or cave as you said there was. What? Gasp! She's crazy! So, I was thinking. Could the monster you saw and the events that occurred be hallucinations or delusions? Hallucinations? Delusions? What does your depression come from? It may be from your mother's hysteria, or perhaps the stress from work. Or perhaps it's guilt regarding to Miss Sayaki. Dun 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 dun! Sorry, I didn't mean to go through that so fast. Racked with guilt that you couldn't save Miss Sayaki, and thus you see strange things. That's not right. It wasn't hallucinations. I couldn't think. But is there any other explanation? If you really were, are hallucinating, you need to go to the hospital. Not to disturb you, but... I just don't want you to end up as Miss Sayaki did. Please leave. I'll just handle it myself. Miss Takamura! Tell me, please. What do you... What do you really think? Uh-oh. Decision time, folks! I know enough to know there's multiple endings to this. And I'm going to bet that this is a decision that helps you decide the ending. We're gonna... We're gonna agree with him. Because he's right, 
he didn't find anything. There was no traces, and it only happens when we're asleep. Quote, unquote, asleep. Okay. It's just a delusion. Maybe it isn't real. Like you say, Mr. Mira. I never quite considered it. I'll go to the hospital tomorrow. I feel like my depression is only getting worse, too. I'm glad you understand. I hope you get better soon. Ah. Excuse me. If anything happens, I'll come running. You've known me for a couple days and he's already head over heels in love with me. Yes, it's just a hallucination. It couldn't possibly exist. Why is she British now? <laughs> Shaking my head. Phone call, folks. Probably from that bitch of a woman, my mother. Hello, mother. Am I correct? Yep, it's mom, dear old bitch. Gasp! Miki, what is it? Are you crying? It's nothing. I was just lonely. Sorry for saying such strange things. Well, that's all right. Call me if anything happens. Bye. You don't even mean that. You don't care about your child. If my daughter called me up being all distraught, I would be I would be pretty much in the car before she was off the phone. She treat me like yeah, she treat me like your aunt. If I go to the hospital and get treated, I'm sure I can go back to normal. Good on you, Miki. Good on you for seeking treatment. Something I should do. Day five. Miki goes to get treatment for her depression. I can't move. Mm. Uh uh, game. I ain't playing this shit with you. But it's just a hallucination. There's no monster. But, where's it coming from? Almost sounds like the rope, so I'm gonna go check the room where Auntie died. Yup! Called it. There's that rope sound again. Itchy ear, itchy ear. Yeah. This is when you scream and you run. No, this isn't real. I'm just imagining it. Yes, you are, honey. Come on, it's okay. And that's what the sounds came from. Yes, just a delusion. I'm hallucinating. Because of my guilt. Because... Because I, I let Auntie, I let her die. There's nothing you could have done to stop it. Not unless you visited her sooner, but you can't blame yourself for this kind of thing, honey. If I had helped her, Auntie wouldn't have killed herself. Honey. <laughs> I killed. I killed. No. Mickey, honey. I still can't move, guys. This is fantasy. This is fantasy. This is fan. Apparently, this is a fantasy. Is it the final fantasy? It's instant realism. Oh, it's not that. It's not a final fantasy. Damn it. Did I just die? Thought I did everything right. What? <laughs> 